When I first got this score, I was 66th in the world. Now we're down to 194. We got to be in the top 100 on the challenge of the week if we want to win any prizes. Right now, the top 100 at the time of recording this video probably need, you know, 189,000. We're going to see if we could try to get that today. Julio Rodriguez is who we're playing as facing Corbin Burns. The current leader is at 770,000 points. 777,000. Is that what I said? <laughs> And we already have our first strike. That's not a great start, but on rookie difficulty, I got seven points. We are only 777,740 away from first place. And that curveball, I'm, I'm already getting some PTSD from that first attempt, man. That curveball was killer from Corbin Burns, just paired with his cutter. Have I had a fair ball yet? I don't think I have, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? Like, I got two strikes, which kind of sucks, so... One more strike, and uh, that's going to be it. But still rookie difficulty. Our first hit is a home run. If we could do that, you know, until we get up to All-Star Hall of Fame, that'd be pretty nice to see. Just try to build this multiplier up. That's really the goal. That's really what we want to try to do. And I can't remember. So the challenge of the week, is that another one? Almost. The challenge of the week resets every Friday at around noon Pacific. That's the same time they do content on Fridays. And that's when the challenge of the week ends and we get a new one. And I can't remember the last time on a Wednesday when the first place score for challenge of the week. Nice. When the first place score for challenge of the week was not above a million. Now, Julio's only got 63 contact. I think it said what? Yeah, 48 power, 52 vision, right? So his stats aren't very good. His attributes are not the best. But still, man, I can't remember the last time this late into a challenge, there wasn't anybody, at least one person, above a million points. I would assume we're going to have at least one or two people above a million by the time the challenge ends, but I'm just surprised that we don't yet. <sighs> Staying alive, barely. We're up to all-star difficulty. I really only normal swing, except with Julio especially. A lot of times I would wait until Legend. But with Julio... His 63 contact, 52 vision with Corbin Burns, that curve, that cutter. I'm definitely contact swinging right when I get to Hall of Fame. Right now, still on All-Star, I'm normal swinging. 25 times multiplier, only at 34,000 points. But once I get to Hall of Fame difficulty, I'm starting my contact swinging. Especially because I didn't, oh, I couldn't even get to Hall of Fame. Yo, I might, I, I don't want to say I'm going to have to give up on this challenge, but... Julio's been giving me a tough time versus Corbin Burns, man. This has not been an easy challenge of the week. I can see why there's nobody above a million yet, right? I can see why a lot of the scores are so low. What did I say we needed for the top 100? 189,000, which is definitely low for the top 100. And I can see why. Julio, just low contact, low vision, low power. Paired with Corbin Burns, a pretty solid starting pitcher. He's usually my Corbin Knights. We got we to gotta focus up. But my Corbinite, Krypton Burns, man, this has been tough. It was tough in our first challenge of the week video. It's tough now, too. And that circle change down low, the cutters, the sinkers, the curve, like everything from him is kind of nasty. Maybe I should start contact swinging on rookie difficulty. But no, if we get our multiplier up, we really try to lay off pitches out of the zone. Like, I like my chances to get above 189,000. I just, I really need to have a good ounce where i get that multiplier up a lot where i just stay alive you know where i'm not chasing pitches not swinging and missing not watching strike three just like really just kind of do that but get the good hits on rookie veteran all-star then once we get to hall of fame which we didn't even get to on that first down but once we get to hall of fame once we get to legend then just stay alive focus on making contact putting the ball in play trying to get it out of the infield there we go. That's good. I mean, I know it's only rookie difficulty right now, but that's huge. That gets my multiplier up to 18 times, 44,000 points. We just got to keep playing like that. There we go. Is that another one? Nah, not quite, but it's a deep fly ball. Multiplier up to 20 times. I really should pay attention to the bonuses too. What I can do for the extra multiplier, those extra 2,000 points. Oh, I really couldn't tell, man. The, the way his cutter comes out of his hands, like... I don't know. His pitches are just so deceptive for me. Oh, homer. Let's go. Another homer. And so all the way up, two deep fly balls and a homer within an ounce. Hit one homer and five hits to the left side during the session. Four balls and one weak hit. That Soto Mojo, that's the one that I'm going to be focusing on, as well as the Emerald City, the 
2200 feet of combined hits during the session that one's just we keep doing it over and over so those bottom two bonuses watching balls and just getting distance that's the big thing we need taking balls and going deep Ooh, not a deep fly ball but like that's exactly what i need to be doing i think i might start contact swinging here on all-star with two strikes with me not making it to hall of fame on the first outs bruh i can't believe this like that slide, I swear the slider and the cutter come in the same way. Except one is nearly 10 miles an hour slower. Maybe a little bit less, but. All right, this is going to be a good last ounce. We're over 100,000 points away. We don't even have 100,000 yet, but like I, I got a good feeling about this final ounce. For whatever reason, I got a real good feeling. I kind of feel warmed up a little bit. I got a good feeling right now with Julio. All right, I mean... <laughs> It's not that I want to get my difficulty up, like, I, I don't want to be on Hall of Fame, I don't want to be on, on a Legend, considering I haven't even gotten there yet today, which, I think we got there almost every out last time, so I don't know what's going on, but, you know, we, we need the big hits, the line drives, deep fly balls, home runs earlier on, and that's how we build up our multiplier, is that and taking the balls out of the zone, and then that's how we build up the multiplier, that's how we get the big points, even on the higher difficulties. Oh. I like it when it's that obvious. When it's that easy for me to lay off a pitch. That's real nice to see. Please? Let's go. Big homer. 14 times multiplier. 84,000 points. Still no strikes, which is kind of big for me. D fly ball? No, only 293. We got to get it to 300 or more for a deep fly ball. We're up to all star difficulty. Good take. 18 times multiplier. We need about 100,000 more points now. And we'll be in the top 100 on this first attempt of the day. My, my I think maybe my third or fourth attempt in general. Man, that could that would have been a strike. Like, that curve is so disgusting from Corbin. Homer, please? No, not quite. But, hey, man, up to 24 times multiplier. Up to six figures. 101,000 points. Still, still no strikes on this final out. Good take. 28 times multiplier now. Almost a Hall of Fame. We'll, we'll, we'll be one hit away from Hall of Fame difficulty. Oh, I wish I would have been a line drive, but hey, man. 31 times multiplier up to Hall of Fame difficulty now. I'll start contact swinging. Actually, I'm not going to contact swing yet. Nah, man. W with no strikes, I'm, I'm only going to contact swing right now once we get to two strikes, I think. Because we have a better chance to... We have a better chance to hit the ball deeper, bro. Corbin is disgusting. I shouldn't have done this. I should have done BR or something today. Oh, wait. That's pretty good. Oh, it's a weak fly ball. But, I mean, this is what we need. See, the multiplier helps us get some extra points. I want my multiplier a little bit higher, though. I can't believe I swung and missed at that. I thought it was a cutter, not a slider. That's why I'm way, way early on it, man. Shoot. All right. See, this is li literally just do that over and over. And eventually... If we stay alive, we'll get to 189,000 or higher. Go take C, multiplier. We need that to go up. 39 times is not bad. PCI is looking so tiny, though. And then I swing and miss. Only 131,000 points. I don't even think that's what I was at last time. All right, I'm on my second attempt of this video. And I'm sitting here. Two strikes, two ounce, all-star difficulty. So one strike and this attempt's over. So I kind of figured I would show you guys maybe the rest of it. 23 times multiplier, only 117,000 points. We still need, you know, like 70,000 points, a little bit more to break into that top 100, at least at the time of recording this. I don't even think 189,000 would hold the rest of the week. Up to Hall of Fame difficulty, multiplier sitting at 29 times. Probably context swinging now. There's a line drive. That gets us up to a 32 times multiplier. We just need to stay alive, really, at this point. Can't have a strike. Oh, if, if that wasn't a contact swing, that probably would have been a homer. We'll take the extra points. One more hit away from legend difficulty. I really don't know. Oh my god, man. I thought that was just going to drop in. I really don't know where I want to do my PCI. Sometimes I feel good starting it up. Sometimes to the right. Sometimes just keeping it in the middle. I really don't know. Ooh, there we go good swing not a deep fly ball only 270 but we'll take the points we're up to legend now 38 times multiplier disgusting curveball on legend that's so hard man 
That's such a nasty curve with so much break. Oh my god. Oh, if yeah, if we're not context swinging, that's a home run every time. Up to 170,000 points, though. We're making progress. 40 times multiplier. This is good. No! No! On to the next attempt. Two ounce right now. Hall of Fame difficulty. No strikes yet. There's a ball. Multiplier up to 35 times. 119,000 points. We only need about 70,000 to be in that top 100 right now. And there's that first strike, man. Corbin Burns has been giving me a tough time. That's that's putting it lightly, I would say. And there's already strike number two right when I start recording again, man. Oh, my goodness. I think I play a little bit better when I'm just fully focusing. I'm so glad I fouled that off. I didn't want this attempt to be over. But I would say this is probably the hardest challenge the week I've done this year. I can't think of one that was harder. Just Corbin Burns has always been one of the toughest pitchers for me to face. In Diamond Dynasty especially. And now we're facing him here with somebody with 63 contact. Ooh. Line drive. There we go. With somebody with 52 vision, right? Like, it's just... It's a recipe for disaster for me. And I'm curious if any of y'all have been doing... You know, the challenge of the week this year. You, maybe you've done this one. Julio versus Corbin Burns. Has anyone else found this one kind of hard? I would assume so. We don't even have anybody above 800,000. Not even just no one over a million, but no one over 800,000. And that's just usually not the case. I'm sure it's a mix of it being hard and maybe not as many people playing as earlier in the year. I swung and missed. But this has been hard for me. At least off the top of my head, I really can't think of a challenge of the week that has been harder. Now, something I've been thinking about doing, I know I've never really done a ton of franchise videos on the channel. And... I mean, part of me wants to do like an actual franchise, just maybe legend, play all the games, uh, maybe turn commentary on, or I guess I could try to commentate myself, even though, you know, I'm not, I want to say I'm super good at that. It's like actual baseball commentary. I feel like I'm not great at commentary in general, but that's, that's a topic for a different day, different video, whatever. But what I was thinking about for franchise is trying to make my own special franchise, you know, just probably do legend difficulty. I would probably like to play every single game, maybe some simulation, but I think I'd rather just play the games. I don't know about critical moments, but I think playing the games would be fun and I could come up with stuff like little systems where, hey, you know, since I'm playing on legend, maybe on the hardest difficulty, if I win, maybe I get something, right? Like maybe I get a trade for one of the other team's players, but if I lose... Maybe I have to trade away my highest overall player for the team I lost to's lowest overall player. Something like that, you know, I just, I think it could be fun to, to make my own franchise in a way. Come up with a whole bunch of different rules to make franchise more exciting. And just to have stakes with every single game that we do for the franchise. And, you know, maybe there could be like bonuses if we make the playoffs. Maybe I get to create a player or edit a player's stats. Like, I don't know, I, I feel like there's just really... Oh, man, that's that's going to be my first strike on, on this first down. But I feel like really the sky's the limit. There's there's probably endless possibilities for things I could come up with. You know, maybe maybe each game, right? Maybe nope. maybe I have a player that it's focused on each game. I get to pick one player, and if that player does good, whew, that was close. If that player does good, I get to upgrade them. If they don't do good, I don't know if I would want to downgrade them. But like I said, we could have the stuff for winning and losing too. And I just I think it could be fun to kind of... I guess make my own version of franchise. I wish I would have been a homer, man. That's my second strike now. But I think we could really come up with a fun version of franchise. I would just, I would probably need to like actually like write out all the rules that I wanted. And, and we could add and adjust, you know, maybe make it a Google document or something that, that people could see. I don't know about that people could edit, but like other people could see it. So like they could see what's going on, what the rules already are. We could get suggestions in the comment section. Maybe each video of the franchise, there could be like, I don't know about a comment question, but like something could be decided based on the comments that y'all would vote for or something. You know, I just, I think it could be really fun to, to do stuff in franchise, a way to be creative and a way to switch things up because I'm burned down on Diamond Dynasty. I've probably, ooh, I'll take a home run on Hall of Fame difficulty, multiplier up to 45 times. That's pretty nice on this first down of this attempt. But I'm just burned down on Diamond Dynasty. And I've been burned down on Diamond Dynasty for, for a while now, man. Since since before this year's game, if, if I'm going to be honest. And it's just, for me... No, that was such a good first out. 
Oh man, how did I just choke that away? Way too early on the slider. But I think I think franchise could be a lot of fun. Even Road to the Show could be kind of fun too, you know. Uh, I, I wish Road to the Show was different though. I really I've been asking them lit literally since they took it away. I don't remember when they added archetypes and, and caps and stuff like that to the game, but literally since that was added to the game, I've been I've been given direct feedback to SDS saying, "Hey, please, like I don't care if." If you don't change it back to training points where you can control each attribute individually, you could get everything up to 99 if you wanted to. Like, I'm not saying that needs to be the only way to do it, but at least bring it back. Give us the option to have complete control because Road to the Show, man, that, that's like the career mode. is supposed to be the mode where you get to control your journey and everything. And ever since they took away the training points where you could adjust each attribute on its own, pick and choose what to get up or even let some of them degrade, right? Let some of them wither away because I liked doing it where I would be like a high power, low contact, low fielding, low speed guy where I, I would try to get myself on an AL team and then they would put me as the DH. And it's just much harder to play that way now. And Road to the Show, you, I, I just, I haven't felt like ever since they took away the training points, ever since they added archetypes and things like that, I haven't felt like I've had full control over my road to the show character, which for me, that was my favorite part of the mode was kind of having, I don't, I didn't, I thought I checked my swing, but kind of having that full control and, you know, like I said, ever since they took it away, I've been begging them to bring it back and still haven't. I would love to see it, see it brought back this year, um, or not this year, next year for MLB 25. I, I, I literally had like a message exchanged with the developer saying, hey, this is, this is personally, obviously it's my own, it's my own opinion, right? Everyone has their own opinion, but you know, I, I gave a whole essay pretty much on exactly what I would want to see done differently in Road to the Show. Changed, improved, fixed, things like that. So we'll see if any of it happens for MLB 25. I feel like Road to the Show just has just kind of gone down a bad path. It used to be a lot of people's favorite mode. And I get that, you know, Diamond Dynasty maybe wasn't a thing back in the day in card collecting modes. But I got to think I'm not the only one that misses old aspects of road to the show and i gotta think i'm not the only one that thinks road to the show could be better than it is right now and so i'm real interested to see what it's like in mlb 25 i don't even know where i was really going with that though i'm not sure where i was going with that i guess maybe i guess maybe i was just saying like i, I kind of want to do road to the show but there's just not as much control over it as maybe there was in previous years but for some reason i thought there was maybe another point i was trying to make and i just I kind of got distracted, kind of ranted a little bit, lost my train of thoughts. And if I were to do the, like, That's a ball. I don't want to start another channel necessarily, but for Road to the Show content, for franchise content, I don't know how those would go on a channel together, like doing franchise and Road to the Show on the same channel. But I almost think, right, like if I were to do franchise, like make a new channel for franchise, then I could do franchise and I'm going to be the show. I can maybe do a, a, a franchise on Madden, a, a dynasty on college football. like, And I think that would work well together on its own channel, even if it's different games, but just because it's kind of all franchise content. And then same thing. Have a, Like I don't want to have three channels though, but you know. Uh, I could have a channel then where it's it's Road to the Show, it's Road to Glory, if there's a career mode in Madden. Even maybe get NHL involved in terms of franchising, career modes and things. So, like, that's something I've thought about. I'm just, I'm burned out and I've been burned out for a while and I'm going to be the show. I'm still doing the daily videos. The daily video videos are not going to stop. Um, that's part of the reason I've added Challenge of the Weekend because I've actually had fun. Like, I really enjoy playing Challenge of the Week. Even if I'm struggling like this, like I'm really enjoying this. I'm having a good time. It's kind of something to work towards. And Diamond Dynasty, I just haven't been having the most fun with it uh, ever since. Probably probably last year was the, the big year where I was like, wow, I'm really burned out. And I kind of think it's the sets and seasons for me personally. I'm sure there's some other factors. The fact that uh, overall the mode hasn't really changed in a long time. We've been asking for a new mode. I've liked it. I wanted to see a short and ranked seasons. They just... They haven't switched up Diamond Dynasty in a while. And I'm sure that's part of where the burnout comes from for me a little bit. But in my mind, I'm just kind of trying to think of ways for me to, to be less burned out or have more fun. And I, like, I, I really don't want to start two other channels. But hey, man, you know, maybe I should I should kind of just not daily. I don't think I would do daily videos. Just that'd be a lot. But, you know, just 
whenever I feel like it, have a franchise channel, have a Road to the Show channel, because I want to play college football, I want to play Madden, I want to play other sports games, but on those, I'm probably doing franchise, I'm probably doing career mode, and, you know, this channel has only been MLB The Show, except with some Fortnite here and there, and obviously some franchise, some Road to the Show here and there, but for the most part, Diamond Dynasty, news videos, pack openings, things like that, so I figure... It might just be best to have those things separated onto one or two other channels, depending, you know. And if there's people that from this channel that would be interested in, in watching those things, hey, I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll, I'll promote it. I'll say, hey, if you want franchise content, boom, check out this channel. If you want career mode content, boom, check out that other channel. And, you know, that could be a good way to do it because I'm still letting people know. But then I think I'd probably keep this channel more diamond dynasty related but I, I gotta find a way to switch it up or whatever i don't know what that looks like for me and, and that's something i'll think about on my own and, and maybe su yep. some suggestions that's for y'all and stuff and try to figure out but that's something i think i really need to put a lot of thought into is how for me to have fun on this channel again i think i really need to figure that out 358 foot homer wait i'm in the top 100 from that wait okay unless something changed Unless scores change from when I started recording this, I'm in the top 100. Wait, I didn't- I, I literally was just talking and ranting and going over thoughts. I wasn't even- I wasn't even really paying much attention, but hey, we're in the top 100. Let's go. Let's keep trying to add on to this score now, Julio. That's sick. But I'm kind of sitting here in my head like, I kind of want to start a career mode channel. I kind of want to start a franchise channel right now. Like, to me, that seems like it would be a lot of fun. And who knows, you know, maybe for a few days I could do like a franchise mode and and on this channel and j then just at the beginning of each video say, hey, in the future, all the videos are going to be on this separate channel. And same thing with like a road to the show, just kind of to get the ball rolling a little bit type type deal. But I don't know, man, it could be fun because road to the show, y'all might not know. It used to be the only mode I would play and it's actually how I got my start on Twitch was was doing Road to the Show and they convinced me to do Diamond Dynasty in my Twitch chat back in 2015, so. This has been a good attempt though. I'm pretty happy with this right now. 264,000 at the moment. I'm enjoying this. This has been nice. Oh, staying alive. 62 times 56 gets us a couple thousand points. Two strikes, two ounce. Legend difficulty. No, that's such a nasty pitch. I should have swung. Oh, I knew I should have swung. Let's see where I'm at, though, in the top 100. We got 66th in the last video, down to, like, 164 or something. Let's see where I'm at now. Let's see where I'm at. I'm hoping it's, like, top 60. Just, I want something that feels solid. Wait, top 40. Okay, so at the moment, sitting at 38th in the world with 267,000. I'm guessing that's going to drop down a little bit, but, hey, man... This might be back-to-back -back weeks where I actually finish in the top 100 for the challenge of the week. I feel pretty happy with that, with the new challenge coming out on Friday, with this one ending on Friday. So I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to drop a like if you did. Subscribe for daily uploads. That's a good way to end it for me. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload.